The Goat House is back with my favorite picks and locks of NFL Week 10 here every Thursday with this video. Really liking some of the parlays we're cooking up this week, but a ton of picks to go over. Let's take a look at what I got. My favorite picks against the spread. I got a couple of them. I made a pick against the spread and a score prediction for every single game. Check out that recent video, Week 10 score predictions. But yeah, I'm actually not calling these locks uh, for, for these spread picks here, but I these are my favorites here. I do like the Giants minus 5.5 against the Panthers. I would call this a lock, but it's in Germany, so could some weird things happen in Germany, but I know the Panthers won last week, and the Giants are on a losing streak, but the Giants are the better team. They've been playing some really good teams and putting up a fight with some of them in their recent losing streak. The Panthers are much, much lesser of a team than those teams. And Tyrone Tracy getting this offense going. He'll run well against a very, very weak, the worst run defense football in the Panthers. And the Giants defense will make plays against Bryce Young, especially that defensive front led by Dexter Lawrence. They'll cause some issues uh, for that. Struggling Panthers offense outside of Chuba, Chuba Hubbard, who is not struggling. I think he'll have a solid day. But I like the Giants' chances. They are the better team, even though they have the, the same record. And the Niners are growing on me more and more here uh, as they're off the bye. McCaffrey could come back. They have multiple weapons they can get to. Uh, the last time Brock Purdy played against Todd Bowles' defense, he diced them up. So and Brock Purdy's kind of been hot and cold this year. I think he gets hot at this, you know, down, down the bottom stretch of the season. That's kind of the Niners' type of you know, part of the season, I should say, where they really get going. Sometimes they start off a little slow, middle of the pack. I mean, better than middle of the pack, but now they really get going here. Uh, so that, that one's growing on me more and more. And I think you can pair those two games. You pair those two games because I've seen them around five and a half, six, six and a half spreads. If you put them right at five and a half, both of them, and pair them together, you get a plus 217. And what I just heard right before going to record is that Nico Collins did not practice again. They did not they did not designate him to return yet, so unlikely to play Sunday night against the Lions. So Lions minus three and a half, looking a little bit better. Maybe a little scary because it's in Houston. But if Nico Collins doesn't play, the Lions gotta win that game. So uh, but those are the ones that stand out, but there's none that are like, yes, those are locks. Those are for sure going to happen, but we got some other really good picks for you guys here. Straight up locks, and we made our picks with the other guys that joined me on our weekly pick show already, Week 10. Check it out, but I like the Chargers to beat the Titans. Chargers are hot right now. They're playing great defense, like a borderline elite defense, and they're getting better on offense. The Titans are really struggling. The Titans aren't going to score enough points to potentially win this game. Just not going to happen. Eagles playing against a beat-up Cowboys team with Cooper Rush in there. We'll take the Eagles. Uh, and then the Vikings, uh, who are playing. The, they match up well against the Jags as it is, and now you factor in that Trevor Lawrence is probably not going to play. The Vikings should handle business in that game. Both sides of the ball should play well. And uh, there's two teams that I do like. I'm kind of. I'm not saying they're locks. I'm leaning. I, the Bears, it's tough to call the Bears a lock the way they're playing right now, but back at home against the Patriots, they really should win that game. And the Bills should handle business against the Colts. I mean, the matchup favors them. They're the far better team. Colts are struggling right now, but that line, hints at it being a trap game but I do like them I'm just not going to call them locks um, 11 and 2 in the last 13 picks of the straight up locks only lost the Ravens when they lost to the Browns and last week the Saints fell to the Panthers but won 11 out of the last 13 in, with those over under locks we did pretty good last week winning both those and make sure to subscribe turn notifications on like be much much appreciated we got loads of NFL content every single week we just got done with trade deadline content we'll start to add add the bonus content of mock drafts and playoff predictions halfway through the season so excited about that but Patriots Bears love the under 38 and a half Bears play really solid defense the Patriots will not be able to score a, a ton of points here at all in this one. I mean, I score, I see them scoring like 16. Mat, that's the maximum. And the Bears offense is struggling more than anyone right now. And they get going a little bit more because they're at home. But the Patriots still play decent defense. Not nearly as well as the Bears play defense. But I, I just don't see the Bears scoring an absurd amount of points. Even though they are better at home. Uh, but they should handle business in that game. But nothing to do with the total. I like the under 38.5. And the Titans uh, under 15.5. And, and they score 13 points is what I had. I, I can see them scoring 10, 13 you know, it'll say under 15 and a half. They're playing one of the better defenses in football. The Titans offense is really struggling. The only thing they have going for them is the run game, but they probably will be down by a little bit um, as this game gets going, so that'll kind of force them out of the running situation. So those are my favorite total picks. I do like the Dolphins in Rams over at 50. Um, 
I'm leaning with that one. I, I'm not going to call it a firm lock, but I, but I do like it. We're monitoring some injuries in that one as well. That one is not till Monday night. Remember to follow us on X at Godel's NFL. Link pin in the comments. We have all these extra bonus picks there. Uh, I'm cooking up something real nice for Thursday night football, but my parlay slash teaser of the week. Again, I'm, the Niners growing on me more and more. If you add that at minus two and a half, bring that down a little bit. I really feel like the Bears at home, a different animal. Not that they're, not that, they're that much of an animal, but going against the Patriots, give me the Bears winning the Vikings against probably Mac Jones. And the Vikings match up well with all the weapons they have going against man coverage defense. Uh, and their defense can cause problems for Mac Jones. I mean, the Vikings, the Eagles, if you drop that down to two and a half, I would not do any more than that because the Cowboys are at home. They might get Micah Parsons back, but Eagles should take care of it. But they should run all over the Cowboys. That is the major factor with that game. They should run wild on the Cowboys, minus two and a half. And the Chargers, you can play that risk and make it minus three and a half as they should handle the Titans. The Titans are a chance they don't even score in that game. I think they'll score, but not much. So that is at uh, plus 451. So kind of a big odds uh, teaser for you guys there. Um, so something I'm really excited about. Thought about the Bills money line. If you want to go crazier odds, if you want to take something out in Bills money line, they should handle the Colts. But yeah, that feels like some sort of trap game there, even though I think I really think the Bills are going to win. But uh, I like this one right here that we have on, on the screen. We've been doing pretty decent with these in the recent, uh, you know, the last four or so weeks. Some good touchdown picks for you guys here. Again, last second bets. Primetime bets, best props on our Twitter. Check it out. But uh, anytime touchdown, Derrick Henry should score tonight. I mean, he's a scoring machine. The Bengals struggle stopping a run. I mean, he's got to score, right? David Montgomery's got to punch one in on Sunday night against the Texans. That's kind of the way to beat the Texans defense. I think the Lions could beat them with the pass or the run, but um, you're better off on the ground. And then Kyron Williams actually did not score last week. First time all year. He's going to get back on track, right? He's going to score. He's due against that Dolphins defense that struggles against running backs. And I love Tyrone Tracy Jr. going against the Panthers. Dead last stopping running backs. And Tracy is heating up. He has a chance to score on the ground or through the air. So I love that about him. My favorite plus options, plus money options here. The easier one might be Tyreek Hill. He's due to get going against the Rams defense that you can move the ball on. So Tua should connect with him. But I really like Kyler Murray against the Jets yeah it's a risk it's a quarterback that's got to scramble and get in or they got to design a run but if you look at the Jets defense who is pretty solid I've noticed watching Jets games that quarterbacks not design runs they are scrambling uh, as they see no one's open because the Jets secondary is pretty good and there is a lot of space a lot of space and you have a really good really smart scrambler and Kyler Murray here throw some bucks uh, uh, on that one uh, by itself I, I like Kyler I like his chances. If he doesn't do it, it's like, all right, it made sense. It was worth the shot there. So some good touchdown picks for you guys this week. Been on a roll with the college football picks. Five out of the six this year hit Oregon last week against Michigan. It was a little it was a little close, but we got it. Uh, X-Subs get more college football picks against the spread. Been doing really well this year. in a parlay, cooking up a good parlay. We'll have a couple different options, but the highest one being plus 390. Feeling good about some money line picks being paired together in that one. But this week is tough. Off. This week, there's other weeks that have been like, yes, that's my lock. Looking at Notre Dame when Miami of Ohio played. Um, some of the teams playing against Purdue, we were loving. So this one doesn't feel as much like a lock, but I do like Colorado as they are getting better. And they're going against Texas Tech. Issue is they're in Texas Tech. Issue is they have to win by more than a field goal. Texas Tech is coming off an upset win against Iowa State. Iowa State was ranked very high. Uh, I think people will base a little bit too much off that, number one. Iowa State really wasn't that good. Uh, they were playing a very, very weak schedule. Kudos to them, you know, being undefeated. They were playing pretty good football, but that was a winnable game for Texas Tech. It made some sense that they could win that game. Uh, you know, another thing, Texas Tech is super inconsistent, like insanely inconsistent right now in the Big 12. One week, it's like, that looks like a ranked team. You rank them in the top 25. One week, it's like, eh. You know, they slipped up against some just decent team like not even the best teams in the in the Big 12. Colorado's been getting better and better. The defense has been getting better and better. Now, I don't think the defense plays great in this game to be to, to be quite honest. I think it is better than what people think. It's been getting better. The last time we saw them play, they played pretty well against a good Cincinnati team. It's a good Big 12 team. They play really good defense. Colorado lit it up on offense and won that game with ease. I was very much impressed with that game among others. And now they had their fresh off a bye. They got that little bit of a break. I don't trust Texas Tech's defense. I definitely trust Sanders in the in the Colorado offense here. Got to win by more than a field goal. If this was minus two and a half, then I'd be like, yeah, it's a firm lock right here. But um, we'll take Texas Tech minus three and a half. There's a couple other games that I, I do like. 
And we'll have those for X subscribers like we do every single week. So we'll see if we can get rolling with this. The only one we lost is when we put, picked Rutgers this year against UCLA. They let us down. I was very close to going with Miami of Ohio that week as we picked them the week before. Would have hit, would be undefeated if I did that. But um, yeah, college football has been really fun this year. It's a little more even across the board than usual, and I'm really excited about that playoff. So we'll see what the Colorado Buffaloes do. You either love them or you hate them. I'm, I'm neither of those. I just like to see good football. And um, let's see if they continue to roll here. But that'll do it for the locks and favorite picks of NFL Week 10, College Football Week 11. Make sure to join us on Twitter slash X for even more picks, cooking up something good for Thursday Night Football. A couple things I'm planning on here. Maybe a good old touchdown parlay. Really excited. So, uh, really good week of games across the board. So excited. But join us, like, subscribe, turn on. Okay, Don's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.